you guys, this legit chops is coming at you with a tutorial on how to do particle explosions. This is so what you shall be creating, and I have bad grammar. Okay, this is practically what you guys will be creating in part one. There shall be other parts, so probably I'm gonna have a part two and possibly a part three. We shall see. So this is what you guys shall be creating. And let's go on with it. Let me put this in minus. Okay. Let's go to tutorial. Well, okay. I already imported my clip right here. So you you guys need to import your clip. After you're done that with that, you're going to import your clip down here. Or if you want it a certain size, you're going to make a new composition. But I'm just, for the sake of this tutorial... Many excuses apply. Never mind. Okay, you're gonna drag this down to make your new composition. Go to the part where he actually like appears in the screen. Well, not there when he actually teleports. What we want to do is you're gonna so go on your keyboard right now. You're gonna click Command Shift D. But if you're on Windows, go on Control Shift D. Max Command Shift D, and that will split your layers into two as you can see right there and what you want to do is to cover the part where he appears like here like see you don't want that so we're gonna actually cover it by moving this down probably possibly making this shorter so it's more capably easy for us okay now we got that down now you guys want to go to layer up here layer new layer new solid any color you guys want let's name this particles particles first or something I can't type I so because that costs seven hundred dollars just to fix and my max only one thousand okay back on topic now what you guys want to do is go to effect simulation Particle CC particle world. You want to go to next. You guys want to go to particle. No, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. Don't, don't listen to me. Okay, you want to go to physics. You want to change the animation to twirly, possibly, and you want to put the gravity down to zero. There we go. Now it looks kind of like that, and it looks all skinny. And to fix that, we're going to go to Producer. You're going to change the radius. You're going to make it up, or radius of X, anything you want. You don't want the particles tightly compacted together. So you want to probably have one. It depends on your footage, you guys. So this is for my footage. It's all, it varies, so... Don't completely copy mine. You want it somewhat compacted. Let's move this down a little bit. So you want the anchor point right here where at the point where you teleport. So it looks somewhat more realistic. And you want to scale this up or scale it down. I have no idea what's going to happen for your footage. Let's see. And for the Z. Just do that to make it seem, you know, very uh, 3D-like, I guess. So now what you guys uh, want to do is go to Particle, because you practically finished that. You want to go to the birth color. You want to go for really light colors of blue, like very close to white. Maybe a little different color of blue. It's good. Very close to white, guys. Right there. Still want to see some color. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to press OK and go to the next blue. It's somewhat darker, but not too dark. So don't get over yourselves. And okay. 
And now how you can see how it's not glowing at, as much. It really doesn't look very good. What you want to do is... You're, okay, this... Okay, back on, back on enthusiastic. What you guys want to do is press Command D on your particle first or whatever. And you guys want to go to Effect. No, no, no. Backtrack. Delete that. You guys want to do, you want to key uh, how long you want the particle there. So let's get to two, like right here, one second behind your footage where you teleport, which is right here. So, go back on here. If you guys want to go to birth rate, key that, you know, click the stopwatch right there. And you're going to go to about right here. You still want to be before your actual footage because... If you put it like right here, it still stays and it fades more slowly. So put the death right here. And you're gonna drop it all the way down to zero. Oh, and if you guys want, if you guys think this is thinks this is too many particles, you can go inside the timeline here. You gotta go inside the very small details or whatever. Go in here. Go to that key right here. Try to get it right in the exact. And probably decrease the amount of particles. Let's see how much I had in this footage. See, there's. So, we probably want a little more. 1.5. Yeah, 1.5 would be pretty good. You guys kind of want that. You know, slowly fade out. Okay. Now what you guys want to do is you're going to do click on the layer the particle first. You're going to do command D or control D for Windows. Remember that Windows control Mac for command. Okay. You guys got that down. Command D and that's going to look a little brighter, I guess. Let me test this out if this changes anything. Kind of does. Okay. What you guys want to do is go to Effect, Sharpen, a Fast, Blur. Oh, and you guys, uh, for for adding, there's a chance that I might take that out later. So, Fast Blur. What you guys want to do is increase the blur to about 10. Ooh, that looks that's looking pretty good so far. You want to Command D again. And you're gonna increase it to 20. And I want you guys to remove the adding because it's not what I'm supposed to have. Command D again. Increase this to 40. Command D again. Increase this to 60. Okay, let's see. Let's compare. So this is have a has a glowier effect. Mine's very dark right now. Let's see, if, let's see, let's test some stuff out. Add, 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 add. Okay, now it's like very uh, how should I say this? Very uh, very different. So if you guys want particles like that, that's all right. I don't really care. It's all up to your preference, you guys. I'm going to keep it at normal, and you'll see what I do. See how I change it. So what I'm going to do is drag. Uh, select all your particle first. Shoot. You're going to go to Layer, Precompose gonna go to effect color correction curves you're gonna make this brighter very resemblance to oop wrong one very resembling this I guess and then what you want to do is decrease the reds that's how I got the glowier effect see see what happens if I add this to add Wanna reduce this? Oh. 
Ooh, okay. So what you guys want to do is you want to make it add and you want to decrease the red a lot. So that's what I did. Wow, this looks way better than the original. Okay. Wow. Well, that's, uh, just kidding. That's not the end of the tutorial. Now what you guys want to do is go to Effect, Distort, and you're going to go to Mesh Warp. What you guys want to do is you're going to click on the stopwatch, uh, stopwatch for Distortion Mesh. I think I would reduce the columns. You want three, four, and four. There we go. So it's less tedious. You know what I mean? And what you want to do is to make the particle shape around, like, here. I'll show you guys what I mean. So let's see clearly. Okay. Let me slowly scroll this. See, you can see that there's an optical flare. We'll do that in part two, but I can't somehow do that. Okay, anyways. Well, what I did with the particles is, is that it actually went into the shape. It got squashed in so it could go into the shape of my actor, Zamian Ballad. So, and some problems that you can have on the way is that I have no idea. Here, I'll, you'll see what I mean. Command Z. Okay, I'm going to pause this tutorial, and I'm going to have a rationally different voice at the end of this, and you'll see what I have changed. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is practically what I did. So it's actually meshing up into the shape and form of your awesome actor which in my case is Damien what you see right here is actually uh, it's like you see this kind of line right here do not worry about that if you, it's only like a 10 1.1 milliseconds I guess no no, no I, don't, I don't really know it's kinda of off 0.1 seconds so hopefully they will they shall not see it and how for some reason my particles aren't fading as quickly as I wanted to so what you want to do is go to the opacity transform you're gonna click on opacity as a stopwatch you're gonna make it slowly fade out to right here okay wanna make that Actually, off the part where he actually teleports. So, there, I guess. See, uh, the meshy stuff, it won't actually be seen after you uh, put in the optical flares and add the particles, other particles behind him. Okay, you guys, uh, this is part one of Particle Explosion Tutorials. Stay tuned for the next one coming up, or it's already, if you're watching this future, it's already there. So this is Legit Chopstick signing off, and I hope you guys have a fun time doing this awesome particle effect, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.